Living in a construction zone was already noisy. Now there's a financial headache. I was actually um, <clears throat> going to ask for lower rent. And then when my um, next lease renewal came up, they had actually increased it. So I was less than happy about it. Nearly $400 more each month. Is this for real? I actually didn't believe it when I first got it. I had to like read it three times to make sure that what I was processing what I was reading, I actually was in shock. But not everything is getting more expensive. At 2.8%, inflation is actually at its lowest level in more than two years. Promotions have made internet and cell service cheaper, and gasoline down 21% compared to last year. But economists point out there are still big problems. The things that matter the most, unfortunately, like food and shelter costs, you know, rent costs and mortgage interest costs as well, those things are still seeing inflation at extremely elevated levels. Food is up more than 9%. Housing is seeing big jumps too. Not just rent, mortgages are up more than 30% as the Bank of Canada increases interest rates. A lot of households, unfortunately, are renewing their mortgages at double the payments than what they used to be paying. Um, and, you know, that renewal is going to hit a lot more households. That can cool off the economy slowly because those households may have less money to spend. So they upped your rent by like 400 bucks and it's been like this the whole time? But even without a mortgage, Steph Haynes feels it now. So those are the things I'm worried about. Rental increases, food going up even more, just affordability of life, honestly. Like it's already a struggle for me, so. So Anise inflation is now within the Bank of Canada's 1% to 3% target, but that doesn't necessarily mean they're going to cut rates anytime soon. No, in fact, there are signals that those rates might increase again because certain types of inflation aren't down quite enough yet. You might hear it called core inflation, and that takes out things that fluctuate a lot. Think gasoline. But all of these interest rate increases will take some time to take hold in the economy anyway. You know, people don't all go out and renew their mortgages at once, for example. So as all of these things keep happening, people keep borrowing money, the changes to interest rates should result in more changes to inflation over time. And the Bank of Canada hopes those changes are in a downward direction. All right, Denise, thank you.